Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to this channel. My name's Goody and I make videos on mid-sized fashion, wide foot shoes and much more. In today's video, we're doing everything Instagram pictures. And not just everything Instagram pictures, but how to take your own bomb ass Instagram pictures with a tripod by yourself, like no help is needed at all. So we're actually gonna go to a clip of me making the smoothie because I've been to the gym and I just randomly turned on my camera and started filming. So anyway, we will jump right into the pictures like straight after this vlog footage, but I hope you enjoy the vlog footage too. <laughs> Is anybody else absolutely obsessed with fried eggs on toast? I love it, it hits different after the gym. I'm also making myself a smoothie. I always make smoothie videos on my TikTok. Need honey. If you clicked on this video, it's because you're even wanting to get into Instagram or want to know how to take fire Instagram pictures. I've only been doing Instagram for like a year, so I'm not an absolute pro by any means, but when I tell you I take this shit seriously, I take it seriously. I absolutely love taking Instagram pictures. I feel like it's literally like a fun hobby. Uh, you definitely can make money from it though, so if you want to get a fire Instagram and actually take it seriously, take it seriously. I'm gonna have a little bit of breakfast, then I'm gonna do makeup, hair. I've already got my outfits prepped. And this is the trick with eggs, I always put a little thing on top and I feel like it like steams them and it actually works. Really, really messed up this egg, which I'm kind of sad about, but look how thick my smoothie is. I'm literally obsessed with it. I put so much yogurt in it as well, so it's actually really high protein. Right, so guys, I got changed, all my outfits prepped, and this is the location. It's just a rooftop car park, nothing too crazy. I start off by setting up my tripod, and you'll see me move this around a lot while I'm shooting. Always make sure you wipe the back of your phone. I know it's like such a basic thing, but I never used to do that, and my pictures were so like blurry. So yeah, just <laughs> top tip. Um, but I just want to talk a little bit about like outfits and posing. So for posing, I'll always go on Instagram, or just every time I see a picture I like, I'll just save it just to get a little bit of inspiration from posing and same with outfits tiktok and instagram are your best friends just save any outfits you like and prep the night before like i try on every single outfit the night before sunglasses everything and then i'll have it in individual bags in my car i get changed in my car guys i know i know it is it is an interesting experience but where i am is pretty empty so it's all right normally uh, this is the second look it's from the Anne marie new look collection and i'm literally obsessed with it. It's a little bit different for me because it's like a tracksuit vibe. I absolutely love the way these pictures came out. So you'll notice I actually have the tripod pretty low. For full body pictures, you want the tripod really, really low, like half your body height or less, I would say, just because that's the best angle that I found that basically shoots photos the best. I use the Lens Buddy app. Uh, it's a really good app. I do find it makes the quality of the pictures go down slightly, but it's really good because you can set it. I was dancing here because I was excited, but you can set it to shoot your pictures every five seconds. So you can shoot a lot of content, which is really helpful. I like these ones. So I was very happy about that. Next outfit I've got is this like Y2K outfit, which I was living for. These glasses are from Giant Vintage and I just absolutely love them. So I just want to talk a little bit about lighting. So you can see here in the bottom left, the sunlight is coming through. So what you want to do when you're taking pictures is you want direct sunlight coming through, but not where you're standing. So you want like loads of sunlight in front of you, but you want to be in the shade. You never really want to shoot in direct sunlight unless it's like golden hour. Then, oh my God, that's amazing. But normal sunlight definitely don't want to be shot in direct sunlight it's just not flattering you'll have loads of shadows on your face so lighting is the most important thing like everyone talks about aesthetic backgrounds like you can see where i'm shooting is not aesthetic but because the lighting is going to be nice and you can crop it and you can edit the background i'll show you a little bit later on how i edit it will really help your pictures pop because if there's bad lighting you have bags under your eyes like everything's gonna look a little bit miss a little bit of a miss, you know what I mean? So yeah, lighting, lighting, lighting is all I can say. It's better to have a slightly 
in my opinion, slightly less aesthetic background and better lighting. Uh, going into the fourth look now, I actually put an extension in my car and I couldn't believe how good my ponytail looked because I literally did it in like two seconds. Uh, but this dress was actually part of a collab I did with Chi Chi London. I absolutely love the way these pictures turned out. Like the background was cute. The lighting was 10 10 because you could see like the sunlight's coming through. Loved it. Right, we're back home now. Just for myself a chamomile tea and I've got a little chocolate bar because I need to like refuel after that. We shot four looks, which I'm very impressed about. I normally do like three, but the first look I wasn't really sure about, so I might not actually use it. But now's the fun part, and that's like going through my phone and seeing what pictures I got. I try to go through as I'm going along, like you saw in the clip before, just because you need to make sure you're getting good-ish pics. But now's like the kind of fun part, kind of really hard part. I'll probably spend about two hours going through when I do like a shoot day, going through selecting pictures, probably two hours alone just on selecting, maybe an hour and a half. And then the editing part and getting them all down. To, I normally post about 10, to be honest, I always do the swipe across. So yeah, I'm gonna drink this. I'm gonna go through all the pictures. Let's see how many I took first off, because I think I took quite a lot. I'm gonna screen record so you can actually see what I'm doing. Oh my god, so I took 2,113 pictures. For four looks, that sounds about right. I shoot about 500 pictures per look. And I know that's excessive, and some people will be like, you don't shoot that many. But for me to get good pictures, I have to shoot a lot because I just end up not liking a lot of them. So it's down to you. Some days are easier than others. To be fair, today was quite easy. The lighting was quite good. So I was lucky today. Some days it will be horrendous, like a thousand pictures per look. So it just depends on how the lighting is, how the pictures are looking, if you like your outfit, blah, blah, blah. So I thumbs up on the app, like any ones that I'm like, yeah, I want this. And what I love about Lens Buddy is you can basically go into your thumbs up, I'll show you the thumbs up section and then you can just go select all and then save it to your phone so it means that you don't have any pointless pictures you don't like on your camera roll which I really 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 like so I'll basically go through I'm not going to go through all of them because we'll be here for about 10 years but let's just do this look I absolutely love this look what I'll do at the end of this video as well I'll include all the final edited pictures if you want me to do like a full how I edit my pictures I'll happily do that for you guys as well but otherwise this video is gonna be like 10 million times longer and I'm just gonna show you like a basic edit obviously I sometimes face tune I don't like change my body or anything like that but I'll sometimes like get rid of spots or like get like brighten up the corners and stuff just depending so like this picture is the one we're going to edit I'm just going to show you like a little basic edit so I go into afterlight which I absolutely love and I have all these preset filters that I made in my fusion filters and I'll just like add one see how it looks see yeah dreamy I instantly know I wanted that it makes it so much brighter. So I'm just gonna add that. I'll save it to my camera roll. And what I would probably do in this picture is go into retouch. I said I wasn't gonna do editing, but I'm just gonna show you like a quick edit. So I'll go into retouch and objects. You see at the top here, it's like, looks all like moldy. If I just go over it like that, boom. Looks so much cleaner. Maybe go over this as well, but yeah, that just looks better to me. I'll probably get rid of this weird wire. Although that now looks a bit weird. Oh no, go back that's fine but yeah I'll just do that like if there's like weird marks on the wall I might get rid of them this is very extra and you don't have to do that but I just think it makes your pictures look that much more like polished so save that I do modify original and then it just changes the original picture which I love and then it's ready to post on Instagram guys it is that simple so go on to post I always post more than one but say for example I was just posting this one I'll probably zoom it in a little bit she cute i'll probably add the saturation up in the actual app sharpen it a bit and that's the finished picture from today how cute is that anyway i'm going to show you all some of the final edits of today we got some bomb ass instagram pictures like we really really did and um, you can do it all by yourself like this I, this video is for you guys that are like either nervous about taking your own pictures or don't think you could do it or anything else I literally started, I'm gonna actually show you my original Instagram pictures because they were so bad. I didn't know about lighting, I didn't know about anything. But after watching people who are on YouTube like show me how to take your own Instagram pictures, I actually learned. So I really, really hope you guys get some like knowledge from this video. And I'm telling you now, it is scary and people do stare at you, but like it's fine, like it really is fine. The place I went to today is like, quite secluded, which is really good, so not like many people stare at me. All you need is make sure you have good lighting, good outfit, and a tripod. You can do it, honestly. I believe in you. Go 
start there and take your own Instagram pictures. It's so nice not having to rely on anybody else, not having to be like, Tui, can you take my pictures? That's my sister, Tui. Or like, my mum, can you take my pictures? You can do it all by yourself, and I promise you, the more you take your own pictures, the more you'll want to, because I've gotten the best pictures from taking them myself. When other people take pictures of me, they don't get the right angles, whereas you can spend as much time as you need taking your own pictures. You're not gonna have someone take 10 and then walk off, do you know what I mean? You can take 500 like I do, and then you get bomb ass Instagram pictures. I'm telling you now, it's so worth it, and your Instagram will genuinely level up if you do this. So good luck, I know you can do it. I really hope you enjoyed the style video. Bit of more of like a vlog style, different style for me, but I really enjoy watching these videos, so I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, please, please, please give me a big thumbs up, because it makes me know that you like this style. And also, if you're not subscribed, don't be a hater, please subscribe, it's down below. But anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Bye.